Conditional formatting is a powerful tool that allows you to derive insights from your data very easily. In this video, we'll walk through an example of how to understand the key trends in your business with conditional formatting. Here we have a basic dashboard for our sales team that we're gonna use as an example for conditional formatting. We have employee information on the left, sales figures in the middle, and then performance metrics on the right. But without any color coding, it's very difficult to derive insights quickly and understand the performance of the team and the strategic actions that are needed. So what I'm gonna use is conditional formatting. How do I add conditional formatting? I can select a range and go up here to home, conditional formatting equal to enterprise accounts. And what that would do is just show me my enterprise accounts. How would you remove conditional formatting? Go up here to home, conditional formatting, clear rules from selected cells or your entire sheet. If you wanted to highlight your full row of your enterprise accounts, you could highlight this whole table, Alt HL, which is the keyboard shortcut, N for a new rule, and then use a formula to determine which cells to format. Say equals F4, flexible in its rows, is equal to enterprise accounts. Format will be a light yellow and hit OK. Now what we've done is highlighted the entire row for our enterprise accounts. Very flexible and dynamic. If I change one of these to enterprise accounts, you can see the full row updates. What else might we want to do? What we also might want to do is see which of our sales figures exceeded their target. What I could do is highlight this column and use Alt HL, highlight cell rules greater than 300,000 and that works, or I can use a formula reference. So Alt H L R will let you manage your rules. If I want to change this to, instead of being a hard coded 300,000, I can say greater than equal to our target and just hit okay. And so now if I want to change this to maybe 320,000, I can do that really dynamically. I can change it to anything I want and update my file accordingly. Another thing to highlight is the hierarchy of the rules. So Alt H L R, you see how this cell value is sitting above my enterprise accounts rule, which is why in cell K 14, it's shown in red, not in yellow. If I was to switch this order and hit apply, now you can see that my total has switched to having the formatting from the enterprise accounts. So hierarchy is important for determining the precedence of your rules. If you wanna delete a specific rule, you can click on one and hit delete rule, or you could click edit rule, new rule, duplicate rule. Many options in your rules manager. What you might also wanna do is be able to easily see these gaps to target. If I highlight the selection, Alt HL, go down to color scales, what I can do is select any of these options to show different color scales. I find the green and red is very helpful. And while this looks okay, if I change this to maybe 275,000, I get some issues with my file where I have positive values that are being shown in red. I have pretty positive values that are still being shown in white. So what I would wanna do is go to my rules manager and change this rule to be instead of the midpoint being a percentile, be a number. So be centered around zero. Positive values will always be green. My negative values will always be red. Even if I change this target, I get a really dynamically formatted column that's really helpful for understanding the performance of my sales team. You can also copy conditional formatting. So if I copy this column, hit Control C, Control Alt V T, this will copy my conditional formatting. If you wanna check it, Alt H L R, We'll pull up your rules manager and you can see this column has the same rules as our gap to target column. One last thing that's really cool here are data bars. So if you insert a column and I will remove conditional format to so Alt H L C S, what I can do is link this cell to the gap to target, fill that down and then Alt H L data bars. You can see this gradient fill with green and red, hit OK, Alt H L R. And if you go back and edit this rule, you can show the bar only. So we'll remove the number. Now what I have is a really helpful data bar that will show me the relative performance of each of my sales team. So I can see Clydesdale did really well. I can see some of these other executives didn't do very well. And again, we'll dynamically update as my target changes for my sales team. Very helpful for understanding 
the strategic implications for your business. Thank you.